Hello everybody, my name is Cora Dage and I am Master Red Jacket. And welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Probably the biggest hype for a game there is in... Oh my word, I don't remember... Call of Duty, Battlefield... The hype for those games is absolutely nothing like the hype for this game. This game has been just so... Uh, just longed for ever since it was confirmed. Yes, I'm black and white. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm black and white. I think my camera's going. But I just bought this. It is currently 1.30 and I am terrified as all crap to play this. My sister is right next to me, so if you hear strange noises, it's her. However, I'm not planning on doing one of these videos where I have her with me. Local amusement park is getting ready to scare your socks off with a new attraction based on the unsolved mysteries of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Featuring actual relics from the decades-old pizzeria, this new attraction is guaranteed to be- There are some weird noises. Hold on. How- what? Hey, hey, glad you came back for another night. I promise it'll be a lot more interesting this time. We found some, some great new relics over the weekend, and we're out tracking down a new lead right now. So uh, let me just update you real quick, then you can get to work. Like, the attraction opens in like a week, so we have to make sure everything works and nothing catches on fire. Uh, when the place fire opens, would be bad. People will come in at the opposite end of the building and work their way toward you and past you and out the exit. Uh, yeah, you've officially become part of the attraction. Uh, you'll be starring as the security guard. So not only will you be monitoring the people on the camera as they pass through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes out in the corner, but you'll also be a part of the show. It'll make it feel really authentic, I think. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. We found another set of drawings, always nice, and a boxy head, which we think could be authentic, then again, it might just be another crappy cosplay. And we found a desk fan, very old school, metal though. So watch the fingers. Uh, uh, right now the place is basically just, you know, flashing lights and spooky props. But I honestly thought we'd have more by now. Uh, if we don't have something really cool by next week, then we may have to suit you up in a furry suit and make you walk around saying, boo. <laughs> uh, but you know, like I said, we're trying to track down a good lead right now. Uh, some guy who helped design one of the buildings says it was like an extra room that got boarded up or uh, something like that. So we're going to take a peek and see what we can find. Uh, for now, just get comfortable with the new setup. Um, you can check the security cameras over to your right with the click of that blue button. Uh, you can toggle between the hall cams and the vent cams. Uh, then over to your far left, uh, you can flip up your maintenance panel. You know, use this to reboot any systems that may go offline. <laughs> so in trying to make the place feel vintage, we may have overdone it a bit. <laughs> Some of this equipment is barely functional. Yeah, I wasn't joking about the fire. That's, that's, that's a real risk. Uh, the most important thing you want to watch for is the ventilation. Look, this place will give you the spooks, man. And if you let that ventilation go offline, then you'll start seeing some crazy stuff, man. Keep that air flowing. Okay, keep an eye on things, and we'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night. Okay. What do I do? I know very, very little of this game. I started- I honestly- I read one comment on the Steam thing, and it literally said- the person commented with Best Interactive Laxative of 2015. So if that is true, I am ready to poop myself. I hope not. I don't- how is this supposed to work? I know I definitely- I was totally into, like, looking at all of the- that is creepy. That's all heck. Like, what am I even looking for? I'm looking for salvage, aren't I? Why does the ca the cameras, like, freak out? Ooh, and the vents. I'm looking for salvage. I know that, right? Because I was kind of play audio. Hi. <laughs> Why does that have to be the audio? I 
I survived. Why are there happy children? This is a horror attraction. Ugh. Okay. WASD. What am I? Whoops. Totally was not playing WASD. There's a thingy moving. Is that the purple guy? I saw- I saw a- No, he's blue. Are those rats? Err, I can't go up there. Somebody likes to explain to me what's going on. I have not- Hi. Answer the phone. Hey man, okay. I have some awesome news for you. First of all, we found some vintage audio training cassettes. Dude, these are like prehistoric. I think they were like training tapes for like other employees or something like that. So I thought we could like have them playing like over the speakers as people walk through the attraction. Dude, that makes this feel legit, man. But I have an even better surprise for you. You're not gonna believe this. We found one. A real one. Uh, 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 gotta go, man. Uh, well, well look, it, it's in there somewhere. I, I'm sure you'll see it. Okay, I'll leave you with some of this great audio that I found. Talk to you later, man. Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Uh, welcome to your new career as a performer slash entertainer for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, these tapes will provide you with much-needed information on how to handle slash climb into slash climb out of mascot costumes. Right now, we have two specially designed suits that double as both animatronic and suits. So please pay close attention while learning how to operate these suits as accidents, slash injuries, slash death, slash irreparable and grotesque maiming can occur. First, we'll discuss how to operate the mascots when they are in animatronic form. For ease of operation, the animatronics are set to turn and walk toward sound keys. This is an easy and hands-free approach making sure the animatronics stay where the children are for maximum entertainment slash crowd pleasing value. To change the animatronics to suit mode, insert and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. Turning the crank will recoil and compress the animatronic parts Hello. around the sides of the suit, providing room to climb inside. Oh, he's right there! Sure the spring locks are fast oh, that's his eye! The animatronic devices remain fixed. Mm. We'll cover this in more detail in tomorrow's session. Remember to smile, you are the face of Freddy Fazbear's pizza. I was hardly paying attention because I was being creeped out by salvage. I'm pretty sure that. What exactly am I supposed to do? Am I just supposed to play different Hello? audio? Oh, that creeps me out, man. Ugh. I just gotta make sure all the systems are running. There are no fires. <laughs> oh, why does that have to be Balloon Boy? Why does the audio have to be Balloon Boy? He's so creepy as a video error. Holy crap. Oh, oh my word, guys, I'm terrified. I am flipping terrified right now. Okay, it's only 2 a.m.? Are you serious? I'm so screwed. Okay, I have never... <laughs> <sighs> Ventilation? There seems to be an error. Okay. What was that? <laughs> okay. Okay. I have never played the entire game of Five Nights at Freddy's 1 or Five Nights at Freddy's 2. I played the demos because I watched plenty of video of those two games being played. I watched Markiplier play them. So I knew that I just could not play them justice. I knew how he played them, how he beat them. So I knew I simply couldn't play the game and like, I don't know, get, get away with it. Cause I've played the game. I know how the game was played. So I was so tempted to watch Markiplier's video on this. I, I wanted, was that him right there? That's, that's, that's a vent, that's a- no. He's an event. I hear him, he's an event, he's an event, he's an event, he's an event. 
Ah, you can't even put that thing down when it's rebooting something. That's not cool. <gasps> holy crap, holy crap, he's right there! He's right there! I did not- <laughs> At least his jump scare isn't bad. I just happened to notice out of the corner of my eye that stupid Freddy costume that was, like, the, the skeleton. I- I barely- I barely, like, even noticed that he wasn't there. Did you see him? And I knew- yeah, see? I noticed that- wow, okay. This game is creepier, but so far... At least Salvage isn't so scary, I guess. I saw him run across the screen, too. That was really weird. There he is. How are you supposed to- if the, the audio device did not work, okay? Oh, man, you gotta watch the vents, too? This is weird. How is this game supposed to be played? So the phone's not gonna ring? I guess not. I guess the phone's not gonna ring. And if the venti if the ventilation system goes down, your player starts seeing things. Cause that was totally Balloon Boy, B Balloon Boy was not a thing. And Scott Cawthon said that there is one animatronic. This game Hi. says that there is one animatronic, and that I'm assuming to be Salvage and nobody else. Like, there's Chica's head, that does not look like an animatronic. And I totally was not paying enough attention to what the heck was being said in that video. Was that him right there? No. Where is he? Uh, I don't like this. Uh, there you are, you stupid animatronic thing, salvage, whatever you are. I'm sure people have figured out what exactly he is now. I'm sure they've figured it out. And they know what he is, and I haven't, like... You're gonna pop out at me! The ventilation system is down, I need to turn on the ventilation system. Why is it Balloon Boy? Is it only Balloon Boy? Why can't I- oh, there it is. That was weird. Why couldn't I- why couldn't I do it? I don't know. This game is creepy. Like, I'm not f quite feeling the, like, frazzled feeling of just, like, so many animatronics after you. I'm not feeling that right now. I know there's only one animatronic. So far, I saw him for a second. Where was he? There he is. Can you- What does the audio do? What does it do? Does it draw him to that room? Or does it draw him away? I don't know. I don't know. And I don't know if staying in the vents or in the cameras is a good idea or not. Hi. Ugh. I have no idea how to play this game. Where is he? Where is he? He just... Hi. Uh... Is that him right there? Is that him? I can't tell. Is that him? I have no idea. Hi. I'm gonna play audio over here, because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, no, 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 not my cameras, not my cameras. I want my cameras. Give me my cameras. It's only 3 a.m. Are you serious? The first night went by so fast, I never even sick and saw salvage. And now... The day seems to be crawling by- Why does it have to be Balloon Boy noises? Why? It's so creepy. Stop it, Balloon Boy. I've been recording for 14 minutes already. Hello. And it's only night two. Hello. Is he in there? Is he in there? I totally did something. And the camera did something too. The cameras are really, really like fuzzy. This is. This is nothing like. This is nothing like Five Nights at Freddy's 1 or 2. Hello? Audio error. Great. Don't be right there, thank you. This is nothing like Five Nights at Freddy's 1 or 2. Granted, I never played the full games, but this has got a totally different feel to it. This is- mm, You're an event. I can hear you. To seal a vent- What? <gasps> Where'd he go? 
Okay, he's not in the vents anymore, apparently. I don't understand how this game works. So, if you see him in the vent, seal the vent by double-clicking. Can you open the vent again? <gasps> Does sealing the vent- <gasps> Oh, I saw him outside! I saw him outside! I saw him through that window! I saw him through the window! I'm like freaking out right now. I saw him through the window. He's gonna come in and kill me. Hello. <laughs> I don't wanna die. Go to the sounds. It's 5 a.m. Go to the sounds. Go see all the wonderful, wonderful sounds. Leave me Hello. alone. See all the wonderful sounds? I s Nobody told me Bangle was in here! Nobody told me Mangle was a thing. Nobody told me that Mangle was a thing. Unless Mangle was another hallucination. Hello? But I figured the hallucination would be like the- Yes! I figured the hallucination would be more like the Balloon Boy hallucination, where he just kinda like popped up in my face. You can't sink and find salvage anywhere. Ugh. Let's push all the right buttons now. Hold on, let me go a different way. I'm not Bonnie. Where am I going? Is that rain? Um, what is that supposed to be? I don't even know. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. We're just gonna follow me. I'll follow you, whoever the crap you are. You are the purple Freddy. You are the purple guy. And you're gonna come down and murder Bonnie now, too, right? I'm following you. So, yeah. E R R. Why did that scare the snot out of me too? I'm so confused, guys. I guess I gotta really. Uh, hello, hello. Uh, for today's lesson, we will be continuing our training on proper speed handling techniques. When using an animatronic as a suit, please ensure that the animatronic parts are. Freddy, Freddy Fazbear's, was that, was that the original pizzeria, you're gonna pop up. Was that the original pizzeria, or was that, shoot, I don't remember. Okay, so there were people in the suits, and that death minigame, or that's not a death minigame, that's, that's not a death minigame. There's somebody in the vents, who's in the vent? Well, I know who's in the vent. Salvage, obviously, you are in the vent. Okay. What would I do? Okay, Hi. so the animatronics were not originally animatronics. They were people. What is that sound? The animatronics were not originally animatronics. They were people. And apparently it was kind of deadly to... Hello. 
to wear a suit. Because if something broke... Like, literally, the guy was like, if something breaks, make sure you leave a populated area before you bleed out. Oh, he's in the vent again. Gosh dang it. And I have a feeling when I seal these vents, it makes everything worse as far as like the hallucinations and the vent, the just the ventilation system being. Hi. I, I I don't know. I I'm just making assumptions here. They're not real. Oh shoot. Oh, I'm dead. Man, I don't know what to do. I really- I'm not entirely sure, like, how this game runs. This game seemed really, really creepy at first. I think I'm just gonna end this episode here, um, before I go too long. This game seemed really, really creepy at first, but, like, the more that I get into it, the less of a creep factor this game actually has. To be perfectly honest, I, it'll probably get worse as I go, but I remember the jump scares being, like, much worse in Five Nights at Freddy's 1 and Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Like, I remember watching Markiplier play these these games, and I jumped out of my skin, like, watching him play. I'm sure you did, too. I'm sure many of you guys did as well. And, like, I played the demo, and I think I... I died once on the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 demo, I think. I think it was on my phone. I don't- there's one of- yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's 2 demo was on my phone. And I died, and just about through my phone. So... The scare factor in this game does not seem to be anywhere near as bad. But we'll see. I'm gonna play the- I'm gonna try and play this through to the end. I'm- I'm really gonna try and play this through to the end. I don't know how good I'm gonna be at actually, like, beating these, I guess you could say. I don't know. I'm just glad I don't. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna see. This this opening screen is really freaking me out, though. It was really creepy. This just is a totally different game. This is a completely different game from the other games, and I didn't really play the other ones much. But I already know that it's a completely different game. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm sorry it was probably a little boring. I was just kind of trying to piece together the pieces as this guy was talking, and he talked for a really long time, especially the first one. The first one, he talked till like 4 o'clock. Four or five o'clock, something like that. I never saw salvage once, but maybe that's just my luck. And it would appear that the only one that can actually kill you is salvage. Is that actually his name? I'm gonna call him salvage because that's what people have been calling him before the game came out. I don't know if that's actually his name or not, but I don't know. His jump scares are scary. Sorry, I, I'm totally rambling. I'm just gonna end the episode. Thank you all so much for watching this episode. Really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, if you're enjoying my videos, please subscribe to my channel for more. I'm going to beat this game. So, subscribe. Push the button, and then you'll see the rest of this. Alright, I will see you in the next episode. Master Red, check it out.